Hey, welcome to Frontly. I'm Patrick, the founder and CEO. I'm gonna give you a quick overview so you can get started building apps right away. The first page you'll see when you log into Frontly is the home page. On this page, we have a few different sections and I'll go over those now. Right here, we have the app templates, which are pre-built apps that we've created that you can install in your account in just one click. I definitely recommend going through some of these to get some inspiration and especially to see what kinds of setups are possible. We have a blog post generator that uses AI. We have a real estate listings page. We have all these different types of things you can modify to use for your own purposes. So I definitely recommend going through those. And below that we have our tutorials. So these are just recommended video tutorials mostly that are really useful when you're just getting started with Frontly. I would recommend spending as much time as you can going through watching these videos. It will expedite your process significantly. So when I wanna start building my first app, the first thing I have to do is I have to add a data source. So what is a data source? It's just the data that I want to use to populate my app. In this case, I wanna use a Google spreadsheet. So when I click add data source, I'm presented with these three options and I'm gonna select Google Sheets. Now, the only thing I have to do to import it is to grab the link to my Google Sheet. So I'm gonna go over to my sheet now. You can see it here, it's really basic, just some rows and columns with some sample data. I'm gonna click in the address bar, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna go back to Frontly and paste it in. When I click Import Sheet, Frontly is making a connection and pulling that sheet in. If I go back to my sheet, you can actually see Frontly has generated a Frontly ID column and auto-populated it with unique IDs. This makes it possible for Frontly to treat my sheet just like a database where it keeps track of each row as its own separate record, which is really valuable. So I can see my data sources are here and all I have to do now is go over to the pages list and I'm gonna create my first page. So I'm gonna call this test page and I'm gonna click create. So this is a completely blank page. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to browse the blocks. Blocks are what make up Frontly's pages that give them content. So you can see we have a table which shows data in a big list. We have a form, we have a grid which has some bigger images and a Kanban, all of these different things. We have charts and stats and icons. So really there's so much to explore here, but all we're gonna do for this very simple tutorial is I'm gonna create a table block. So when you add a block, if it requires data to populate it, you're gonna see this pop up here that's forcing me to select uh, one of the data sources. In this case, I only have one, so it makes it very easy. I'm gonna select orders. I'm gonna hit complete setup, and you can see that Frontly has already populated this with my data. So all I had to do was add a table to my page and select it from the dropdown, and now I have this wonderful table. I can make changes really quickly. Let's say I wanna move this image column over to the far left instead. I can just drag it. Um, if I want to make a change to a certain field, maybe I wanna change this total field and I wanna change the color. I'll set it to a nice blue color, and maybe I even make it bold. So, you know, these are very basic changes, but you can see how quickly you can adjust this to your liking. Now, what's even more impressive is that when you click preview after just that, you have a fully functional app. So it's hosted at my sample app.frontly.ai. Um, I haven't added a custom domain, but I can do that too to make it, you know, my app.com. And so without having to adjust any other settings, you can see that the table displays all my data, and if I click on any specific record, I get this automatically generated detail view. This is a form, and if I make a change right here, it's gonna update in real time. So you can see I'm editing Diana Green. If I change this to Joe Smith, in real time, this is gonna update in the user interface, and it updates in my Google Sheet. So you can see Joe Smith is here now. And so that's something that's really powerful about Frontly is that it can turn your spreadsheets into a functional hosted app that you could share with your clients or your team in literally just a matter of a few minutes. Now, if I go back into the dashboard here and I'm going to delete this table, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna browse blocks again, but 
This time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Generate with AI. So this is a new feature that we're really excited about and it's very powerful. Instead of selecting a table or a form or something like that, I'm gonna describe what I want and AI is actually gonna generate something. It might not be perfect, but it can be a really useful starting point. So I'm gonna start by typing something like um, a dashboard with a table on the left and two charts stacked on top of each other on the right side. Above that, I want a text label that says um, analytics dashboard. Let's, let's just leave it at that. So you can see I'm just describing this in plain text, nothing fancy, no developer speak, and I'm gonna click generate. Now this usually takes between five and maybe 12 seconds. Well, there we go, it only took about two seconds. Now, it gave me exactly what I asked for. It created this column and it added a table and two charts. So what I'm gonna do is, um, these, these table and charts haven't been connected to data sources yet, but I can do that with just a few clicks. So we've already seen how the table works. I'm just gonna select that. And now I'm gonna go over to my charts. So again, just have to select my data source. I'm gonna select orders. By default, it's a bar chart, and there are a few different options here. I could select a pie chart or I could select um, a line chart. So I'm gonna stick with a pie for this one, and I'm gonna keep it as a filled, or you can change it to donut. Um, there are a lot of different options for every different block. So um, one, one thing that I wanna do is I wanna make this bigger. The, the default size here, because of the way it's stacked, um, it's cutting off some of the chart. So instead of having the height at 200, I can either, I think, delete this entirely and it will just automatically take up the right amount of space. So that's pretty nice. I think I'll do the same thing for my second chart. So I'm going to select orders again. And this time I'm just going to leave it as a bar chart. Now I have two variants. I have the vertical bar chart and then I have the horizontal. Um, so I'm gonna stick with horizontal just because I think it looks kind of cool. So you can see here that even just within the chart itself, I have all these different options. Any uh, block that I'm editing is gonna have this sidebar over here with all of these different settings. The chart is actually one of the more complex, so you'll probably see the most options here. But when you're editing a chart, for example, you get to choose which field is the value field, as in which one do you want to display the data from? In my case, the total field in my orders is what displays the price. But if I wanted to display maybe the ID or something, you can see it, it adjusts just like that in real time. So you can make changes. I can even group my records by a certain field. So you can see in my chart, I have processing, shipped, shipped. Um, I think it would be nice instead of just showing every single order, I actually wanna group them by the status. And so now the chart is much more manageable because it's just showing the total number of orders in each status. Um, that would also maybe be great for a uh, pie chart as well. You could see the ratio. So the choice is up to you. Um, you really just have to go through, try all the different blocks, try the AI generator, see what that comes up with and really have fun. Um, Frontly is a platform that allows you to do quite a lot. And if you go through all of our tutorials, you're gonna be armed with all the information you need. So thanks for watching and good luck building your first app.